Hi, I'm Jason E. Street, uh, the DEF CON Group's Global Ambassador, and on behalf of everyone at DEF CON Groups, I'd like to wish you a Happy New Year. Uh, I think we're going to have an amazing 2018, and uh, I'd like to take a moment right now to do a status report on uh, how 27, uh, 2017 went, uh, which I think went really well. We uh, expanded a lot more uh, globally, uh, from uh, Dubai to Durban. We're getting a lot of interest in a lot of DEF CON Groups uh, forming up uh, in different parts of the world. Uh, which I think is great and very important for us to keep growing. And, uh, and now, hopefully this year, we're going to start uh, actually connecting. It's like I'm hoping to get um, sort of like sister uh, groups, as you will. It's like, you know, having DEF CON groups from different parts of the world connect to other DEF CON groups, uh, be it to, you know, do a CTF or to do uh, uh, share a project together, or research together. Uh, I think that's very important for us to uh, actually uh, help foster and help facilitate. Uh, so I want to see uh, that growing uh, in, uh, in the year to year and the years to come. Um, also, uh, 2017, we started an initiative with uh, getting uh, hackers and DEF CON group, you know, hackers uh, to speak at local schools um, to be the facilitator, be the educator. It's like instead of like when uh, law enforcement and when other authority figures go into schools, they talk about uh, cyberbullying and they talk about online safety and, and how the internet uh, uh, is, is works. Uh, it's usually uh, when they talk about the criminal, the negative element, they're talking about, they'll say hackers. It's like, you know, hackers are going to get into your Snapchat or your Instagrams. Uh, and so I think it's very important that we actually come in and we actually teach online safety. We teach uh, how to stay safe online and talk about criminals that are going in and uh, doing nefarious things on the internet and how to protect themselves from that. And so that way it's coming from a hacker, uh, from a positive light, and that way the, the students and the teachers and the parents will see hackers in a more positive light uh, as one of the ones that are educating and trying to make things better. So I think that's a great uh, cause for us to uh, keep working on. Uh, Brent White uh, has been spearheading that uh, and uh, working with uh, local law enforcement in uh, Tennessee to go to schools and start that, and that's going to be our, like our beta pro project. It's like uh, we're going to see hopefully more of that spreading throughout the year uh, to different locations. Uh, I really hope so. That's, I think that's going to be a big deal overall. It's like for that. So that's good. I would also like to say that we're having a more transparency this year. It's like uh, I want to start us having updates every month where we're talking about how many group, new groups have formed, uh, how many groups that we've seen that may have gone um, inactive. I'd like to see us actually uh, posting once a month about those bulletins. It's like creating a bulletin and a status report uh, every month, uh, doing a snapshot, which is, I think is very important. I would also like to say that we're going to have uh, maybe also once a month, it's like so at least two new updates on the site every month is, is our goal. Hopefully we can keep it. It's like, uh, but our goal is the uh, second update will be a uh, interview, a video interview of a local DEF CON group somewhere around the world. That they, uh, we're gonna start off with some of the ones that I've done. It's like I've interviewed several DEF CON groups uh, POCs from America, from South Africa, from China, different locations. And so um, we're gonna start off with those, but then hopefully we also start maybe having a POC actually submit videos from their DEF CON group, from their location, from where they, they have their meeting, giving us an insight, giving us a, a look into their DEF CON group and how it works and how their meeting takes place and how it formed and, and what they've done. So we'll, we'll come up with some questions that are going to be the standard questions we'd like to ask our POCs and then have them submit a video so you can get to know more of the DEF CON groups from all over the world. So I think that's going to be very important. I'm going to uh, be very happy if we can get that going and actually keep that uh, working. So we've not been as, uh, we've had some uh, hiccups uh, over the uh, last year. It's like, you know, it's not all the great things that have happened, but we had some hiccups last year. We, uh, we've reorganized. It's like uh, we've got Brent White, who is now our lead uh, DEF CON Group's Global Coordinator, you know, the supervising adult, the guy who's going to help get the, uh, the organizational uh, stuff taken care of, making sure everything um, is being done properly, which is really important, which is really helpful. Uh, we've got uh, Supes, who's been here from the beginning, who's always been helpful, who's always working on the social media. He's one of the first contacts you meet when uh, you send in an email about your uh, POC, about your request for a DEF CON group. 
Uh, joining him is uh, is a newcomer, uh, April Wright. She is uh, uh, taking up that as well, uh, helping Supes with that uh, extra load. So she's also going to be one of the people that you're talking to. She's been doing a phenomenal job recently responding to those emails, getting those uh, point of contacts uh, information, getting it, getting it down and getting it over to uh, Darrington, who's always been here, who's helped with the website, who makes it grow, and who keeps it updated. And uh, we give him the content, and he puts it up on the site. So uh, he's been doing an amazing job. So Darrington's still, uh, still there uh, plugging along. We have Will, uh, who's the guy who's the swag master. It's like uh, people always look at me. It's like, oh, well, Jason, you brought so Will's the guy who provides all that. Him and, and Dark Tangent are the ones that actually provide uh, the really cool DEF CON swag I bring to DEF CON group meetings and to different conferences around the world. It's like, uh, I'm just a UPS delivery guy. So it's like, I get all the fun stuff. But they're the guys that actually make it happen. So we're going to still uh, be doing that. We'll still uh, have some more swag to give out um, as I travel. Uh, we also have Casey and Tim. And uh, they're uh, they're there working on the uh, in the background, helping organize, helping... Uh, do the stuff in the background, keeping the uh, DEF CON group site and activities that we're planning in the future, keeping that going. It's like we're having meetings, we're discussing what we're going to do. We want to plan like a, uh, you know, some quizzes and, and maybe some other activities that we can do on the website that can be more engaging uh, for the DEF CON group community. Uh, we're planning some, hopefully a really big surprise uh, for the next DEF CON, DEF CON 26. I think that'll be really cool if we can get that off the ground. I don't want to talk about it anymore because I don't want to jinx it, but uh, but we are working on getting those things done. Uh, I'm thinking 2018 is going to be a really phenomenal year for DEF CON groups. I'm really positive about it. I uh, last year's status update wasn't as positive. It's like, uh, but I think this one it's like uh, deserves to be. It's like we had a really good year last year. Uh, 2017 was a phenomenal year. It's like uh, 2018 is going to be one as well. It's like uh, we're going to see more growth, uh, but. It doesn't matter if it grows. It doesn't matter if DEF CON groups gets more DEF CON groups. It's what we're doing with it. It's like, are we engaging the community? Are we getting people involved and getting people to connect? Uh, not just, you know, once a year at um, Vegas. It's like, are we getting more people involved? It's like, so that's one of the key things that I really appreciate. And I think that, that we're doing really well is we're going beyond just having another DEF CON group at it. But we're having these groups that are added, engaging in their community. It's like engaging other hackers. It's like uh, being part of something. It's like an enjoy. And I've, I've had so many people come up to me and talked about their DEF CON group meetings. Who, who said, it's like, yeah, I've met people in my area that I didn't even know about that were involved in it. And we've had a really great time. That's what it's about. It's like that kind of community, that kind of spirit is what we're trying to foster with DEF CON groups. And I think it's doing really well. And it's like, uh, and I think we can only just keep doing better. It's like, we need to keep doing better. We need to keep engaging. We need to do that outreach, uh, but not just within our community. We need to engage more out of our community. It's like, go outside our comfort zone. Help DEF CON groups be that, you know, connection uh, to your local community about what hacking is and what hackers are. Uh, so we want to start doing that a little bit more as well. Um, and one last note we're going to be doing is also we're going to be uh, not setting up rules. It's like not a lot writing them down. It's like we're doing the FAQ, you know, the guidelines. It's like we're going to start um, actually finishing, uh, not finishing, uh, polishing them up. It's like uh, adding to them, uh, making more detailed, giving more guidance on exactly the do's and don'ts of, of a DEF CON group. Uh, we don't want to uh, have any kind of... Uh, inopportune moments uh, that we've had in the past. So it's like, we're going to define that more. Uh, we're going to make it more transparent. We're going to, uh, you're going to know what's happening in DEF CON groups uh, at least once a month. You're going to, you're going to get an update. You're going to hear what's happening. And, uh, and with your help and with the community's help, it's like, it's just going to keep getting better. It's like, uh, so expect uh, more uh, wonderful, you know, upbeat videos uh, from different DEF CON groups from uh, all over the world. Uh, expect more, status updates, more updating on what's happening, how many groups are changing, what the metrics are, and uh, hopefully you can be part of that. It'd be a great thing. So uh, once again, thanks for watching through all this. It's like, uh, as you can tell, it was unscripted. It was just something I wanted to get off my chest and wanted to make sure that we uh, we had something out there to let you know that it's, it's going to be a great year and uh, you're not alone and we're doing it. Um, some really good work behind the scenes it's like which hopefully will become a little bit more apparent uh as the months go on so thanks again it's like uh happy hacking and uh see you at defcon